Hello, welcome to the Workers Football Story. I'm your host, Trey Avery, number 21. Intercepted! It's Trey Avery down the near sideline! This week, we'll be showing our highlights from our win over Delaware. Rutgers wins it this afternoon, 45 to 13, and they start the season 3-0. We're going to show you what it's like to be a Rutgers football player with behind scenes access, players mic'd up, oh, okay. player spotlight. So let's get started. Yes, sir! Let's go! A lot of enthusiasm. Yes, sir! A lot of energy. Let's go! We got to live. Challenges there for coaches and players, all of us together. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Can't wait to be a part of it. Top, always. What's up, Larry? Good morning. Good morning. You made it. <laughs> Team meeting time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's look at today and let's talk about what has to happen. So we got to live it. Challenge is there for coaches and players, all of us together. Yo, are we ready to meet today? What is this? This is a day in the life, Coach DJ. You got anything to say to Rutgers oh Nation? God. Guys, how we doing? Chop! <laughs> no, 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 You're still running right? the yeah. Just running in from a board yeah. side. <laughs> Busy in here. Wanna say hi? Oh. Best trainer of the game. <laughs> yup. <laughs> You know we gotta run to practice now because we gotta get out there early. Oh god! Yeah, yeah too! We here! Oh, Say hi, Kyle! What's up? What's up? I gotta give you back now! in the Big Ten Conference. On the banks of the Raritan, the gears of progress turn. Powered by a willingness to stand for what's right, by gaining ground in the race of our lifetime, and by ensuring every step we take includes our responsibility to the future. Wherever the human race moves forward, you can be sure there's someone there. Pushing, learning, persevering. Because progress isn't just made, it's earned. Go are you! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! you and me! Throwing it deep right for Bo Mountain, who holds it in for the score. Touchdown, Rutgers, a 28-yard touchdown to Bo Mountain. First down, here's Federal with trips right. Noah drops to throw, the blitz is coming, he's got time. He lofts it up deep downfield, Brandon Sanders has got it, and he will go the distance for the Rutgers touchdown. Good job, Brandon. Good job, buddy. Keep an eye out for him, because he's going to make some big plays for us this year. the right.
right of Vedral as they check with the sideline. Federal takes the snap, hands it off. Young up the middle, churning the legs to the goal line. He's in. It's a Rutgers touchdown for Aaron Young. <laughs> Federal to throw with a day and a half. Oh, over the middle. Johnny Langan's got it inside the 25 yard line. Johnny football, finding a way to get open into coverage. He's just all around a football player where you can get him the ball either running or passing. Here they are to punt. Line drive, good kick. Sends Aaron Crookshank backpedaling to his 35 to the 40, 45, 50. Crookshank 45 to the 40. Gets past the 30 to the 20. Here is the speed of Aaron Crookshank. Crookshank looking to take it. He houses it. We'll see you later, baby! That is a touchdown for Aaron Kripchak. His first return for a score this season. And the Scarlet Knights extend their lead to 34 to 10, a 62 yard punt return for a touchdown. I'm Trey Avery, and this is the Rutgers Football Story. Trips left on five wides. Tip intercepted by Rutgers. Trey and Avery. taken away by Trey Avery. I started playing football when I was six years old, and uh, it was just fun, so I just kept it going. Trey Avery loved that kid. Uh, wearing that number 21. This week, we're going to introduce you to one of the Scarlet Knights with our player spotlights. Take a look. Mike Tverdov, defensive end, Union, New Jersey. Under pressure and down he goes. I got started in football when I was in first grade. My brother obviously introduced it to me. My brother was a good high school football player. He had a full ride scholarship to Rutgers. You know, that was basically my first love was football. And you know, from the first day I put on pads, I fell in love with it. He's dropped. Going down, sacked Mike Tverdov. Here I am. Graduated. 16 years later, going into my 16th season, and it's been such a long journey, but I'm thankful for all the lessons I learned along the way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I just want everybody to remember me as the kid that left this place better than when he got here. And that's a big play by Devertoff right there. You know, I don't want to ever take a day for granted. Wow. Let's go, man. Every day I, I got here, I took it as a blessing. I made sure that I went hard in everything on the field, off the field. Workout, school, tutors. I gave this. I gave this program all all that I had. Crunch and sack, Mike Tverdov. I'm just thankful for all the people that have met me along the way and three, one, two, three, three. got me to where I am now. But it's definitely a blessing to represent this block R. I'm Trey Avery from Baltimore, Maryland. Nice play by Trey Avery of Rutgers. And this is the Rutgers football story. While we getting ready for Michigan this Saturday, we want to show you our highlights from last Saturday with our win over Delaware. Good afternoon, everybody. Chris Garland alongside former Scarlet Knight Eric Legrand and Mike Teal with us this week. Beautiful day today on the banks of the Old Raritan in Piscataway, New Jersey. Some clouds in the sky, temperatures in the mid-80s this afternoon. Rutgers football is back on the air as the 2-0 Scarlet Knights take on the 2-0 Delaware Blue Hens. Rutgers so far this year has been outstanding defensively. They have not turned the football over themselves on offense.
Here's Pacheco. They said he's elite and catching it out of the backfield. And Pacheco muscles his way in for six. All Isaiah Pacheco. And you can go ahead and flex after that. He's coming. He's got time. He locks it up deep downfield. Brandon Sanders has got it. And he will go the distance for the Rutgers touchdown. The FCS transfer from Bucknell University takes it all the way. Rutgers show a glimpse. Henderson to throw. Henderson under pressure. Sacked. Quick throw out to the left as he motioned out the back. Bill Crookshank makes a catch. First down and more. Breaks a couple of tackles inside the 40 to the 34 yard line. Federal takes the snap, hands it off. Young up the middle. Showing him the lights to the goal line. He's in. And the Rutgers touchdown for Aaron Young. Going down, Julius Turner. The punter over to Crookshank. Really good field position for Rutgers across the 40, across midfield. Here is the speed of Eric Crookshank. Crookshank looking to take it. He has his hit. Game touchdown for Eric Crookshank. His first return for a score this season. On its way up and good. Corsack is back deep. He's the best punter in America, and he's a ridiculous weapon. And Pacheco taking the direct snap that time, and pushing, pushing, and he's got the touchdown. His second of the game. So Rutgers wins it this afternoon, 45 to 13 over Delaware. And they start the season 3-0 for the first time since 2012. Great way to enter into Big Ten play against Michigan in Ann Arbor next Saturday afternoon. Good to, uh, good to get back home in front of our fans. I thought the student section was outstanding. They got here early again. I think the two big things, right? The biggest thing is, is taking care of the football. The guys have done a very good job with that. The second, you know, is obviously if you play efficiently and you don't give back yards, you have a chance. I think it's a, a, a serious uh, commitment and buy-in by our players to what we stress. You know, we, we believe uh, very deeply that the ball is the program. Kirk Shiraka brought that here, and uh, that's, that's stuck with us everywhere we've been. Lowering the shoulder, carrying defenders, and scores the touchdown. And it's very important to us that you, you realize that, you know, when you carry that ball, you're carrying it, because as crazy as it is, right, you need that ball to score every way except the safety. If you don't have the ball, you can't score. And to simplify it to the most simple degree, our number has to be bigger than their number, otherwise we lose. So, kind of common sense, we got to take care of that thing. And they're doing a good job of it. We have to continue it, right? The minute you take it for granted, it spills. We have to play Rutgers defense all the time, Rutgers special teams all the time, and as the offense gets better and better, the offensive line gets better and better, that's when we can become a, a team. Blitz is coming, he's got time. He locks it up deep downfield. Brandon Sanders has got it, and he will go the distance. And uh, it starts tomorrow. We'll evaluate this one, and then they'll start to move. Everyone will start to move to uh, toward Michigan. I think we have a trust, our staff and our players. I don't think, I know we do. We tell them the truth. So I don't try to sugarcoat it and tell them, you know, I, I flat out tell them what I think we're up against. And if we're not really, really on our chop, this is what could happen. But if we are, this should happen. You know, rather than play head games, we don't do that. That's not to me the way to go. If we're gonna, if, if, if we're gonna talk about trust, then it's gotta be both ways all the time. And our guys have done a, uh, a good job of believing 
uh, in doing what we've asked them to do. So we just got to keep doing that because we will get better. Like we're getting better. Um, we just have to keep at it. This is the Rutgers football story, and we'll be right back after this break, so don't go away. Get it. Oh, yeah. A lot of enthusiasm. Yes, sir. A lot of energy. Let's go. This is all it comes down to right here, though. You got to be able to focus on that spot. <laughs> Whole practice. That's what yeah. we're going to do today. We chopping. Right, yes, sir. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's we're going to go good. So put them thoughts in the box. Pop, what you got? Pop, here we go. Yes, sir. Deuce, deuce, head. Deuce, deuce, head. Deuce, deuce, head. Hey. Let's go. Lead and lead, baby. Woo! Boom, and then you gotta turn into a guard. But yeah, I like it like that, yeah. I like it like that too. Knees up, eyes up. Let's go. One, two, three. Dominate. It's our drill. Let's go. Here we go. Yes, sir. I want you to butt them up, wrap them up, run them back. Do you hear my whistle? Wrap him up. Gets it out there. He's got Pacheco. Sidesteps the defender. Dodges the defender and rolls in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Rutgers. Come on, baby. They got quite it on Phil. Seen a lot of energy out here today. On all sides of the ball. Old line did a great job today. Pacheco up the middle. First down and more. Breaks the tackle with a 20. To the 10. Ain't nothing better than pushing one another. Know the situation, Johnny. Adios, compadres. Touchdown, Rutgers. Where we have no regrets. And I feel like we had no regrets today. We came out here and ball. Got it, Rutgers. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Come on. Every day. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys hanging with me today. Isaiah Pacheco here. RB unit, let's go. 2021, we litty. Go. Pacheco, they said he's up deep and catching it out of the backfield, and Pacheco muscles his way in for six. All Isaiah Pacheco, and you could go ahead and flex after that. Field is Corey Spruill to the left of Henderson, who takes a snap, four-man rush, and they get home with four as Rutgers gets a sack from Aaron Lewis. Bedrill, he's got all kinds of time to throw. How about this? Two Brandon Sanders for the touchdown. Fake handoff. Bedrill throwing a deep right for Bell. The punter over to Crookshank. Really, really good field position for Rutgers across the 40, across midfield. Here is the speed of Eric Crookshank. Crookshank looking to take it. He houses it. Aaron Krushank, co-special uh, co teams player of the week of the Big Ten. Just talk about his evolution, adding punt return to the repertoire as well. Yeah, I was very excited, you know, coming into the year. I thought Aaron could be an explosive threat. He has started off the season being just that. 
Again, now we go to Big Ten play, so everything goes up to here. So let's see. He is a great returner. Like the return Saturday, he got some good supporting cast blocks, but there was a couple points on that touchdown run where he just went right, went left, and then went really fast. And there was people there he just ran away from. So uh, he's individually very talented, and I think the unit, it's both the KOR and the punt return are doing a good job as well. You guys know how I feel and how I felt for a long time that Rutgers belonged in the Big Ten and it's, it's weekends like this that, uh, that made me want to be in this league. So we're, we're excited about the opportunity. We're going to go out there and see how we stack up. To tie the game, quarterback draw, federal, running, hit, driving, in! Oh, We've got God. tie ball game! Unbelievable! How about the toughness, just the will? We're headed to overtime here in Piscataway. There's a lot of differences. That, that game was a shame. We had our opportunity there and we didn't take advantage of it, right? Uh, this is a different Michigan team, though. And, you know, I'd like to think we're a different Rutgers team, too. And as I said earlier when we started, I'm just excited to go see how we stack up. And uh, we're going to know probably by around 7.30 or so, probably know where we stack up. We need you here next Saturday versus Ohio State. We need you here early, and we need you to be loud. Thanks for watching the Rutgers Football Story, and thanks for letting me be your host. See you next week, and keep chopping.